In this guide, I'm going to show you how you can transfer songs to an MP3 player step by step. If this guide does help you out, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. If it really does help with the channel, let's just know that you want more content like this. We'd greatly appreciate it. And if at any point throughout this guide you do have any questions, don't hesitate to ask us down in the comment section below. And we can help you out further. I'm going to be doing my best to reply to every single comment down there. But let's go ahead and get started. First things first, obviously make sure you have some music downloaded onto your computer. These can be MP3 files from sites like NCS, Pixabay, or really anywhere else that provides for your music downloads. And next, go ahead and grab your MP3 player and connect it to your computer with a USB cable. Once it's plugged in, open up your file explorer and you'll notice that MP3 player down in this PC section as an external drive. It's just gonna look like a normal external drive. Sometimes it'll show up specifically as an MP3 player, but yours may have a different name. Simply go ahead and double click it to open it up. In this case, let's go ahead and say this is our MP3 player right here. Now go ahead and just open up another file explorer tab and find whatever MP3 files you actually did download. These are probably going to be in your download section right here. In this case, let's say this is going to be our MP3 files right here, these image files. Essentially, just go ahead and take them from your downloads folder and drag them into your MP3 folder, just like so, where all of your songs are actually saved. Each file is then going to go ahead and begin copying over to that mp3 file folder. And once you have added all of your songs, right click on that drive to open up a page that looks like this. And you're going to see an eject option down at the bottom. Go ahead and select that. And this is going to safely disconnect the device so you don't lose any data. But that's it. From here, you can unplug that mp3 device via that USB that you connected it with and you will be good to go. If this guy did help you out, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. It really does help the channel and lets us know that you want more content like this. We'd greatly appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. Peace.